What's this like a year later compared to where you were at a year and, and the thrill of getting picked by this team? Uh, it's definitely great. I mean, you come back and you see the city, you see the, the light of hockey in this town. You know, you go to the States and it's not as big. And uh, It's definitely a great experience to come back here and see all the guys that were here last year and uh, to be skating on the ice at, at, as uh, Maple Leafs do. It's just a great experience. Can you measure how much better do you think you are uh, one year to the next given all you've been through this past year? I mean, you can't be, really measure it for me. I mean, I definitely developed a lot and, and got a lot of experience, especially from the World Juniors and, and throughout my college career this year. And uh, it definitely helped me to, to get a lot better and, and to, you know, develop my skills and, and my strength. Interesting at the draft in Montreal and, and in Los Angeles, the latter round picks who were there confident they were going to go. You were in the same spot in Montreal a year ago, weren't you? Yeah, it was definitely a tough time for me, obviously, going a little later than usual. But uh, again, you know, I, I came to this great city and, and great hockey team with, you know, a great uh, development. And, you know, I couldn't be in a better place right now. How do you handle the expectations on you that are certainly much greater than they were 12 months ago? Um, I just kind of, you know, stay relaxed mode. I can't, you know, get high too low or, you know, just take, uh, you know, my spot a little higher than it is. So, you know, I just try to be relaxed and, you know, keep my confidence up and just do as best as I can. Is this the first uh, meeting with Nazem uh, since uh, last January? Uh, yeah, it was. I mean, it's definitely fun. We joke about it now and, uh, you know, talk about the game a little bit. We actually did in the locker room uh, before we skated. But, you know, it's just fun to kind of go back to that and, you know, kind of make jokes about it and kind of rub it in his face a little bit. How difficult is a July skate uh given that this is really the off season for all you people it's tough i mean you know you, you haven't been on the ice a lot you know you got off your season you you just kind of getting into workouts now and it's uh it's good though it's good to get on the ice again skate with box and you know shoot around so it's, it's a good job any ice open in binghamton uh actually it's all closed so i gotta kind of drive around to get to, to ice so it's it's not too bad but you know i find my find my time